Lie down on your back, place your palms facing downwards, hands close to your body, check your lower back rounded. Let's begin. Raise your right leg up, inhaling, exhale. Left, inhale, exhale. Three, right, inhale, exhale. Left, inhale, exhale. Right, inhale, exhale left inhale exhale right inhale exhale left inhale exhale right inhale exhale left inhale exhale keep your knees straight when you do this exhale left inhale exhale last round inhale exhale left inhale exhale and relax Good. Now, place your palms under your legs, like this, palms. Hide your elbows, both the legs straight. Now you're going to raise both the legs up. Already, 10 times. And down, very good. Go, two, very good. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax your legs down, straight hands by the side of the body. Take three deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, one more deep breath. Good, now bring both the feet together. Pavan Muktasana, wind eliminating pose. Take a deep breath, hold your breath, hug your right knee and lift your head up. Bring your head close to the knee. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, let go. Now with the left leg, take a deep breath. Hold your breath, hug your left knee, lift your head up, bring your head close to the knee, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, down. Right leg, inhale, hold, hug. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. Inhale, hug, hold. One, two, three, four, five, down. Third time, inhale, hug. One, two, three, four, five, down. Left, inhale, hug. One, two, three, four, five. Right, inhale, hug. One, two, three, four, five, down. Left, inhale, hug. One, two, three, four, five. Last round, inhale, hug, one, two, three, four, five, down, left, inhale, hug, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, relax, three deep breaths again. Now, this time, you're going to hug both the knees. Inhale, hold your breath, hug both the knees and lift your head up. And bring your head close to the knees. Hold it. And exhale, let go. Leave your legs down. Second time, inhale, hold your breath, hug both your knees. One, 
two, three, four, five. Let go, exhale. Third time, inhale, hug, hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Let go. Fourth time, inhale, hug, hold it. Lift your head up, head to the knee. Come on, more. Let go. Last one, big inhale, hold your breath. Only bring your head down, holding your knees, breathe. Breathe. Now place your hands under your buttocks. Now right leg up straight, left leg down straight. Now change straight legs, change left leg up now, right leg down. Okay, keep going. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And both legs down. Take three deep breaths before we start the next. Good. Slowly open eyes. Now, again, place your hands under your buttocks. Hide your elbows. Lower back, resting it down. Now, legs open like V outside. That's all. Now, cross and open them away. 20 times. 19. Open. Crisscross. 18. 17. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bend your knees relax hands with the side of the body take three deep breaths this is to all these exercises helps improve digestion elimination increases metabolic fire now Open eyes, place your hands under your vertex again. Now this time we're going to do small circles. So bring your feet together down straight. Now open your legs out, away from each other. Bring them together in the air at the top and down like this. Okay, seven times. Ready, open, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale, open your legs out. Three, open. And bring them at the top together and down. Four, inhale. Exhale. Five, inhale. Exhale. Six, inhale. Exhale. Seven, inhale. Exhale. Now reverse the move. Both the legs up and open out like this seven times open them out yes two three four five six seven relax bend your knees hands by the side of the body 
feet flat on the ground close eyes take deep breaths inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale very good now hug both your knees and I want you to massage the back so sit up and back rolling massaging one two three four five come up till your shoulder six seven eight nine and sit down now get ready for inversions so what do you do we're going to do first halasana Halasana is very very good pose very important is good for your nervous system It improves neuromuscular activity It's good for your nervous release stress tension anxiety and It also release any tension in between the vertebral discs I want you to use the chair place it at the back like this close to the wall is fine good now this is very good if you have a towel you place it under your shoulder people who have neck pain this is the way they need to do it they place the thick blanket or a towel fold it and place it under your shoulders not under the neck the head should be down the shoulders are on the towel so adjust it like this okay now what do you do place them nicely so it just see my shoulders are resting my head is down so I, even I have a neck pain I still can do by using these tools okay now what I do I place my legs on the chair so you can do however you like okay if you have a, you want to throw like this bend and throw do so but if you can do straight leg like me please do so like this see and edges good okay, practice slowly you, you, you can sit down and swing your body like this okay and you support with your hands and support back so you can stay here and legs on the chair and what do you do you close your eyes and stay for at least a minute in the beginning and gradually increase to two minutes
coming back slowly bending me hug and relax now now we no need the chair you can put it aside put the mat close to the wall and now we're going to do sarvangasana you know people simply call shoulder stand uh, it is more than just saying it a shoulder stand of course we are on the shoulders but sarvangasana means all the organs in your body are exercised by doing this pose so sarva means entire anga means organs so all the organs exercise so this one also you start with 1 minute holding gradually increase to 2 minute okay so how to do it you come from side wise easier first like this and bring your buttocks close to the wall very close and use your hands as a support to slowly lie down but try to keep your buttocks as close so you might want to move a little down until your buttocks are touching the wall and now slowly take your legs up bending knees don't need to straighten the knees bend your knees place the feet on the wall now your buttocks are very close to the wall now you want to push your feet into the wall and lift your buttocks higher and higher and try to get the hip navel chest in line close your eyes and stay here so we're going to do for a minute now stay put your hands at the back at your ribs closer to the ribs bending your elbows elbows resting on the ground Now very slowly bring your buttocks down. Legs are straight on the wall. Close your eyes and stay there breathing. Now slowly bend your knees and turn your body aside dropping your feet same way the way you went into the pose you turn back and slowly with the support of your hands come back sit up So now I'm going to show you how to do headstand the very easy way start slowly don't rush to get your headstand and don't hurt yourself this is a safe method so i'm going to show you two methods one is facing against the wall and facing towards the wall right so the very first thing you need to know when you're doing headstand is your shoulder should be always down so see let's say you interlace fingers don't cross the little finger don't cross the thumb if you place them at the back of the head you don't lift your shoulders like this okay your shoulders should be down all the time when you're in the headstand one of the reason for many people getting neck pain is because they collapse the shoulders while they're in headstand that can cause pain in the shoulders okay 
So I'm going to show you how to place your hands and I'm going to show you how to do an easy way first, like a pine headstand. So what you do, come close, touching the feet to the wall and then you can have a soft towel or a blanket in front. Now, the measurement is like this. Hold the biceps with your opposite hand like this. Place them like this. This is it. If you move your elbows more away, then you put a pressure on the shoulders. So don't do that. So just stay like this and interlace finger, but don't cross the little finger and the thumb. Just place. Now, when I ask you to come up your knees off the ground, you got to lift your knees off the ground. First place the head. You place your head on the ground. The hands are touching, resting at the back of the head like this okay see this away now shoulders away now first only practice half head stand like this you close your eyes and feel the forearms feel your elbows pressing shoulders away and concentrate on your breathing holding this pose strongly this is the first step you practice at least you should be able to stay for like a minute Once you get it strong, with your arms very strong, without wobbly or without loose, your shoulders strong, holding it like this, then you can go to the next step. Okay? So the next step is just lift one feet and place it on the wall, not higher, just close down. And the knee should be close to the other knee, like this. See? Rest. Up. And... You see, my both knee, if, it's, if, I, if I show you like this, see, my knees are close. Not like this, no need to lift the leg up, only just here. Now what you're going to do is lift the other leg up, same, place it at this place where the first leg. Now both the knees straight, suck in your abdomen and strong shoulders away from your ears and close your eyes and hold this for a minute. This is the way you practice. So coming down, I want you to come very slowly. Bend one, place it down, then the other one, drop the knee and relax. Now, don't suddenly come up. It's good to rest your hands like this. Make, a, make one hand on like a brick, one hand on the other, one wrist on the other and rest your head like this. Stay here for a while and then you sit up. This is practice. Now facing against the wall. Now you can do this way. Now what you're going to do is learn to, no need to kick too hard. You just feel that you need to kick very hard. No need. First thing is you place the elbows on the ground, measure, interlace fingers. Don't cross the thumb, don't cross your little finger, head down and back of the head supporting come up like this now slowly bend one knee and kick the other leg like this you see that just a little bit the song you don't need too much now place both hips front close eyes now stay here shoulders away from your ears and now keep on strengthening feel the strength in the forearms in your shoulders you practice one leg straight then you practice the other leg straight this is the way you practice
okay by time you can get both the legs up but patience very important when you do headstand don't rush bend bend now to come down also is very important don't collapse you have to control the leg bend your knee and bring the feet in front you can see the feet coming front first then you touch the ground then the other one then drop the knees again make a fist with your hands place one on top of the other forehead resting wait for a while and then you slowly sit up this way you practice have fun don't do it too serious and this is not one day <laughs> it takes a while so just enjoy celebrate even you can do a half head stand like the first one we did that is good enough you still get a lot of blood and energy coming to the frontal brain and the face also even you don't do head stand if you're doing downward facing dog that also improves a lot of blood to the face and the frontal brain so yoga works wonderfully bringing blood circulation energy circulation to the every part of the body that's a great thing with yoga so keep practicing have patience don't hurt yourself and always do yoga postures with ease see you in the next video namaste